this morning we need to discuss something a friend of mine told me yesterday and it was so profound because he and his wife had been discussing our conversations I have since Wednesday and he asked his wife what do you wives want what do you women want and his wife said we want freedom and he told me he never replied and he asked me please ask our women to define freedom in a relationship what is freedom what do you mean you want freedom when you tell your husband i want i want freedom what do you mean because it seems the men don't get it they don't understand that word to me he never replied to his wife he just said okay and went about his business but it bothered him since Wednesday. And he asked me, what do these women say when they, want, when they say they want freedom in a relationship, in a marriage? What is freedom? Can you define freedom for men this morning, ladies? What freedom do you want? Please give me a call on 0711-046-105. Drop me a voice note because I'd really appreciate that. 0703-346-105. Hit me up on uh, Facebook or on Twitter. Don't, in, for, don't forget to include the hashtag. We are defining freedom in marriage. What is that freedom? Please define it. Because men cannot seem to get their minds around it. Ukisema nataka freedom, unataka nini? Since you're the one who wants it, please define it. 0711-046-105 is my number. Let's talk. Send me that voice note, my voice note on 0703346105. Hit me up on my fan page on Facebook or let's meet up on Twitter and include the hashtag Mina and Kingangi. What is this freedom you want from your husband? They can't get it. You want it. So please define it. 0711-046105. So ladies, when you say you want freedom in a marriage, what do you mean? That's what your men are not understanding this morning. A friend of mine was told by his wife, I want freedom. He couldn't even reply. He never even responded because he did not know what to say. So when you say you want freedom, what do you want? Keep calling and keep those voice notes coming through 0703 346 105 because they need to understand it this morning. So we are defining freedom in marriage today. When you say, I want freedom, what do you mean? I met a friend who asked his wife what she wants. She says, give me freedom. And he never responded, never replied because he didn't know how to. So when you say, I want freedom, what do you mean? Hey, Captain Kali, you need to get off Twitter and give me a call because, by God, I swear you're going to be hunted down and skinned alive. Captain Kali is saying, what is a woman? A woman is a grown-up kid. Can you give freedom to a kid? Be hard on your woman. There's nothing like marriage freedom. The term wedlock means life imprisonment to the person you chose to be your lifetime partner. So the freedom you're asking is inapplicable. That is very interesting. Victoria Irene, good morning, darling. How are you? And welcome to the weekend. You say women need freedom to give their opinions and speak freely in marriage. Let me just repeat that tweet. Women need freedom to give their opinions and speak freely in marriage. Kwani, you're even not supposed to talk to him? If I may ask. How is that not allowed? Ngenagaido, good morning, darling. How are you? You're saying, when I say I want freedom, I just want to develop myself in my own way with his support and encouragement. I need my, my space to be me, myself, and I. When I say I want freedom, I just want to develop myself on my own with his support and encouragement. I need my space to be me, myself, and I. I think that's, that, that's the thing men are getting confused about, Gina. The space thing. 
when you say you want space and you're in a marriage they know Ajo he said I think they did a breathing room maybe that's what they want Martin Karubi is saying I'm the king why freedom Kevo you saying the freedom women want is freedom to cheat and hang out with the besties which cannot work so mambo ya freedom achia freedom fighters but the, if your woman wants to go out where do you come in to that equation if she wants to go and hang out with her girlfriends? And what is your problem? Hello? My name is Kimondo. Yes, Kimondo. Let me tell you something. Mm. In time, since mm. you are born, have you ever had men rights? You've never had men rights. No. But you have always heard of women rights. Yeah. That's the freedom they did from us. Because we are the bosses. We own everything. We want to become drivers like the way you, ha you had become a driver in America. We want to own a, a radio station like the way you talk in a radio station every day. They need freedom. That is the freedom they need. They need a freedom yeah. where, where they want to go anywhere. Mm. without asking you a question or without borrowing a permission from you. I, I'm speaking in Kikuya in English at the same time. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> they just need that freedom. But we normally give them. But they don't have freedom to live with other men when they have me like a man. Let me ask even you a question. Not performing, even Let if I'm not performing, even if I'm not performing, Straight forward, they should remain at home, look after the kid, or look after me. If, not, uh, if I'm not performing, I have the money to give them, to do uh, whatever they want to do, and uh, to become whatever they want to become. But that's what we call freedom in women. So let me ask you a question. Yeah, Why should your wife ask you for permission for anything? My wife is my own. Because when I marry her, even her name changes from, her, the surname changes from her dad's name to my name. She should be called uh, Eve Wadengeri, Wakimodo, sorry. Exactly, like that. Like the way you are called Mainoaka. So you expect your wife to ask you for permission when she wants to go somewhere? Yes, I'm the boss. That's why I, 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 I take boats and camels to their home so that she is supposed to be mine. And she should behave the way I say. And she, she, she should do to my words. Because she got that uh, rib from me. Thank you. My God. My God, ladies, where are you? Did you hear that? Yeah. Freedom in marriage. Ladies, when you say that, what do you mean? Your guys aren't getting it. Uh, uh, there seems to be a consensus amongst men. If I look what's going on on Twitter... Uh, Tolman, you say she wants permission to hop from bed to bed without being questioned. Captain Kalizim, by the way, do you know a woman shouldn't even go to her relatives or even her own parents without the husband's permission? And she should inform the man like five months prior. Ladies need to toe the line. This is incredible. John says, good morning. You see, marriage is a compromise. What you don't want her to do, you don't do it to her. It's a sacrifice. You win some, you lose some. Friends and behaviors included. There should be freedom in marriage. It's not a military camp. That's what I thought. I, mean, I can't get over that permission thing. I can't get over it. Felix Agola, Monsieur President, you're saying, man, a marriage is a lifetime commitment that locks both parties. There are things we can no longer do after getting married. So to me, asking for freedom is like asking us to just break up and go our own ways. Samuel Musioma Geteri is saying, I tell these women, in a bit of a functional marriage, as a wife, you have to give up on your freedom and independence. Why do men think like that? I don't Let me just go to some of your voice notes, Tafadali. Hello. 
Good morning, Mina. Empress Apa. So now, women, ours is freedom to us is uache fanye venye tunataka wakati tunataka sio unapimia uh, mwanamke pesa kwa hiyo kitu ya kumpimia pesa mpaka now she has to ask you for every little coin especially those who are not working you know some house some ladies are housewives and they have to be at home with the young babies and now if kila saa unamwambia pesa ni ya hii ni ya hii ni ya hii hata everything anataka kufanya na pesa anakuitisha na unataka uambiwe ni mpaka for what shilling goes where that is wrong now that is financial freedom that women need two mwache aende kwao wakati anataka kwenda kwao those are her people alishi nao tangu azaliwe wao umeingia tu in the picture two five years unataka kumwambia venye hizi enda kwao kwani huko kwao kuna nini akienda hata rudi that is another thing that women hate hawatakangi unarudi kwenye atikwenda kuona mama wazazi ni nini aha uh-huh, yeah another one is kwa nyumba tu anafaa tu na freedom yake ya ku decide vitu za nyumba si wewe ndio unataka siji nini inunuliwe nyumba ni the home is made by the woman so give the woman the space to do that yeah and pia social life yake mpe freedom ya social life yake although pia tunakubali ina have kukua limited because marriage is different you can't keep the same same friends you just find yourself with different friends but still let her have them let her be who she is yeah that is the freedom that a woman needs it's not zingine sasa si juu ni gani but hiyo tu ukipea mwanamke wako tosha wow did you get where she's coming from my name is mandela from kisumu there is nothing like freedom in marriage if a woman wants freedom then in the first place she should not get married she should continue staying with her parents or better better yet just stay alone but freedom what is freedom akia wanawake wa squeeze wako na shida i thank god mine is not like that Where? thank you so much mandela okay can you see the disconnect between the gentlemen and the ladies Uh, that's what we are trying to tattoo this morning eh like oh no me wako very funny sana maina ndio kitu iko ni mtu anataka yes at everything you do lazima muulize even going to the salon lazima uulize mtu it doesn't make any sense kwa sababu mtu alinitoa kwetu nikiwa na meno 32 that means inafaa ni pe respect yangu as in an peace of mind Nizaenda kwenye nataka. Nizaenda kama salon. Nizaenda mali popote. Lakini unapata mpaka mtu anakuzia mpaka kujiangalia kwa kio like my ex husband. Like wewe jiangalia mpaka kio, wewe tupaka mpaka mafuta, maina. So we need freedom. We need to be free. <laughs> wow, we need freedom, we need to be free. Hello. Hello, good morning. Good morning to my how are you? I'm fine, thank you. Eh, uh, unaongea na Kinozi. Yes. This is my first time to pick a thing called classic. Asante sana umechukua. Asante sana kwa kunipigia nimefurahi. Eh, uh, nasikizanga ya classic asubuhi radio kwa gari. Asante. Eh, uh, asante sana. Sasa mm. Nataka ku kwa hiyo discussion yako. Karibu. Ya 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 freedom. Eh. Uh-huh yo freedom mata mimi sina huwa atakanya nini hadi mimi nio ya mabas kwenda nini kwenda out eh na sindangu ni kuwa natakanya nini kwa kila saa kila saa mtu anasema anataka freedom yeah mpaka mtu anataka ni mwana cha uzi nimefaia tu nafikia tu nimefaia tu nashinda kuongea okay unataka kuelewa hiyo freedom ni gani eh hiyo freedom ni gani maana wanatakanga alo i yes i can hear you Eh? na kusikiza eh na kusikiza eh hiyo freedom ni gani hata hapa na cheka cheka kwa nasinanga kila saa nataka freedom ya mafunza kuna siku moja alizambia anataka kwenda bus yeah anataka kwenda bus kucheza siji bus alivaitiwa nini akaliza kadi taenda nikamwambia tu anipe chai eh nitajua unajua eh eh sasa hata mimi nashangaa ni gani hiyo freedom hivyo venye tu vile ni captain kale amesema these are green green kids yeah Okay, sasa asante sana. 
Yeah, thank you, my man. Thank you so okay, much. Okay, thank you so much. Okay, hello. No hey, listen, we're talking about freedom in marriage. What do you want, ladies, when you say I want freedom? Peter Ayoma, let me just go to your tweet saying women are just a bunch of hypocrites, especially Kenyan women. If they want freedom, hey, I guess listen to this. If they want freedom, stay single. Choices have consequences. Divorce is an option. You come to my house, you live under my rules, and there's no negotiating that. I still can't get over this need by guys for your woman to ask you for permission when she wants to do something. I'm still struggling with that. Felix Agola is saying, I'm shocked that the freedom ladies are talking about is dress codes, hairstyles, people to talk to and places to visit. For me, those are things I let my lady decide on her own and God will be the judge of her. I'm not here to overwork myself. Shiramani is saying, the moment a lady decides to say, yes, I do, that's the end of freedom and responsibility begins. And that is the reality. Incredible. Ladies, do you see where your men are coming from? Because it's an obvious disconnect between what men think and what you want. They can't get it. The previous ladies defined freedom to you earlier on. Do you agree? Morning, classic. Morning. Then it's my say, huh? Yeah. Now, uh, talking about freedom to this woman. Yeah. Uh, uh, give them freedom and you will not have a home. Give her freedom and you will not have a home. That's it. Wow. Thank you. Hello? Morning, you, sir. How are you doing? I'm fine, thank you. freedom. Freedom Freedom ya Freedom ya Eh. They, that, they, they always say that, but they never tell you what freedom they want for. Sasa, yeah. Karibu. <laughs> 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 That was in 1968. Yeah. And I know you know this. Uh. A lady by the name Dory Patrons, you know Yes. 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 And that should tell you something, yeah? Yeah. And I'll go to something my another friend of mine told me, yeah? Yeah. Uh, we only kwa kina kingani. Yeah. Aliniambia kuna msemo yako inasema. Hmm. Iveti si kala anaandia. Eh, uh-huh. kumaandisha? Mwa, mwalimu kingani atakuelezea hiyo ni kusema nini. Hmm. Uh-huh. Alafu ni kuambia kitu kingine maana hapa, eh? Hmm. Uh, ah Ladies wote walichimbwa kwa kuare moja. Yeah. Either ametoka Europe, ametoka Africa, ama ametoka America walitoka kwa kuare moja. Yeah. Na hawataki ati waelewe hivyo unasema ati wanataka nini. Eh. Yeah. Ukijaribu kuelewa lady hautakaa na yeye. Eh. Yeah. Just love them. Mambo ya kuelewa wachana nayo. Yeah. Hello is kama ni kuelewa nimekuambia Dory Patron was complaining in 1968. Yeah. And they are still complaining to be for him beings. Yeah. So I kuna kitu kasuluhisha. Okay. But okay. But okay. But okay. But okay. Che kuwa elewa. Yeah. Tumapenda na maisha yendele. Okay. Yikudema. All right. Wow. Okay, have the final word, huh? I want you to close our discussion on freedom in marriage. It's been an amazing morning. And the way the men understand it totally differently from you girls it's incredible
But then before we even proceed, I need to send a few shout outs here. Elijah Kibicho, Mambo Vipi, and that team and the entire team at Oro Restaurant, as Chef Kenyan Jui, Jose and Grace Washeke, Dennis Wamai, Victor Mungai, not forgetting your boss, Bob Kiyoko, the legendary Bob Kiyoko. A very good morning to you guys, are super special. Always know that I treasure you. All right, so what is this? What is it that you need, ladies, from your men? Ved Morage Paul Dung is saying, respect is not bought, it's earned by your behavior and how you conduct yourself. You or me asking for permission doesn't make you a girl or me a boy. It just shows responsibility and respect. And I think there's a very big disconnect there. Keep letting me say in my final take, women who don't, who don't have more freedom tend to cheat than those who've got freedom. If someone is given freedom, they know what to do with it. Kipleting, can I hear an amen? I have the final word. Let me just go to your voice notes. Hey, Mina. How are you? All right. Concerning today's topic, freedom in marriage. Mina, I have been married less than a year. We got married early this year in February. And Mina, to say I am tired is an understatement. Like, I'll not introduce myself because my husband is listening to you on his way to work, so... Obviously, he might notice. <clears throat> so, minor, marriage, gosh, marriage is a prison. I have been married less than nine months and I'm already tired. Tired, 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 tired. Then you have no freedom to just be yourself anymore. And before we got married, I would do things my way and he was like, oh, he's cool with that. Uh, you're an independent woman and all that. But now, minor, I can't even post anything online. I can't post a picture on Facebook or Instagram on my IG page and it goes without him coming to now start patronizing me. Oh, what's that you've posted? Who is that who's commenting on your photo and all that? Yani, everything I do, he's on it. Like, oh, where did you go? Blah, blah, blah. Like, I haven't been working since uh, Corona because... Uh, restrictions with my kind of work I do. I'll not mention what, but Yanni, I can't even just leave the house without telling him and him question where where are you going? Why? Blah, blah, blah. All those silly questions. Like, I feel like I'm just exhausted, minor. You just lose yourself once you get married to a man. And it just beats logic. Like, I don't lose myself as a woman. I'm still... I'm still me. Mine is crazy. Wow. 